A Singapore Rail Standards Initiative was also launched at the dinner. It's a set of 60 standards that will be rolled out across five years, covering areas like safety, reliability, as well as productivity of rail systems. For a start, a technical committee has been formed to look into how to develop these standards. It's made up of academia, government agencies, and transport industry and rail operators. Gwyneth Teo joins us live with more. Now, uh, Gwyneth, uh, what will these standards do for the industry, and why do these... Uh, the, why are these standards necessary at all? Well, we actually asked the Land Transport Authority, uh, don't we already have standards for our rail network in Singapore? And they said, yes, we actually do. We follow international standards, but, uh, such as European, British and Japanese ones. Um, but of course, these are systems-wide standards and they don't drill down to the specifics. And of course, they don't uh, cater to our local needs. And who better to uh, spearhead an initiative like that, uh, and especially to talk about our local needs, uh, but our own public transport operators, SMRT, and SBS Transit and LTA said they are the ones who are actually spearheading this initiative and they're sharing their best practices that they've gathered over the past 30 years in order to uh, standardize common processes, common procedures, and, and so that um, the entire uh, industry knows what to, knows, you know, if they have the same, they're standing on the same platform and they know what to do together. Because previously the public transport operators have been operating in silos, but as uh, Singapore's rail network expands and as it tries to uh, go forward into the future, it's all the more important that everybody's on the same page. It harmonizes across the, the different spectrum of uh, requirements. Like for example, uh, the assets are not owned by LTA, so that is what they call the design and build uh, capability. And then you have the operators, uh, SMRT and SPST. So when you have a Singapore rail standards, everybody is using the same standards. And at the same time, we are also bringing, the, uh, we operate with OEMs, and OEMs are also using the same standards. So this is very important for the Singapore rail industry. And as you know, the uh, rail network is expanding, and uh, increasingly there will be more uh, commuters on the rail, and we want a world-class, best-in-class uh, operations for uh, the MRT for our citizens. So I think some people will also ask why now, especially as there have been some major, very distressing MRT train breakdowns over the past four years. So people will ask like, well, isn't it a little too late to have standards? But I think what Mr. Neo, uh, the SMRT CEO, was actually trying to point out was that it's now that uh, we've actually reached a high level of rail reliability this year. We've hit a watershed year in terms of uh, one million uh, mean kilometers between failures, which means that we are on par with Taipei Metro and uh, Hong Kong's MTR. Now that we've reached this watershed mark, it's all the more important that we maintain it. And he shared also that it's, it's actually really difficult. It's, it's another thing altogether to maintain it for the long term, let alone the fact that our rail network is doubling by 2030. We will have seven rail lines uh, by in the next uh, decade. And to maintain such a high level of reliability and performance uh, and comfort, especially for the, for the commuters, uh, across such a wide network, uh, everybody, everybody, operators, original equipment manufacturers, uh, people who are in charge of repairs, everybody has to be on the same page, having the same expectations of how we want our rail network to be like. Some light on the details for us here, what we're looking at. What's the timeline and what aspects are they going to be focusing on? So there will be 60 standards rolled out over the next uh, five years. We asked uh, Dr. Richard Kwok, who is the chairman of the Singapore Rail Standards Technical Committee, for more details. And he said that they actually haven't had their first meeting yet. But he says most likely they will prioritize a, a critical functions in maintenance and operation. And of course, things that are very, very dear to the hearts of Singaporeans, the safety and quality of the train service. Um, now, at that first meet meeting, he said that uh, most likely there will be academics, engineers from the Institution of Engineers of Singapore, uh, public transport operators, SMRT and SBS Transit will be there, asset uh, owners, land transport authority will be there, of course, there are authorities as well, as well as the original equipment manufacturers. Now, uh, these are the guys who, these are the people who create your rolling stock, your, your trains itself, the tracks, the signaling systems, and it's interesting to note that Singapore thus far has always used foreign, big foreign companies. Yes, they have had 
in, for, in some of their cases, hundreds of years of experience. You've got names like Bombardier, Thales, Alstrom, and but what's uh, the but what's interesting is that the entire trend now is moving away from uh, relying so much on these foreign companies. Why can't we deepen our own local capabilities so that we can build and maintain our own uh, rail network? So another interesting thing about this um, rail standards initiative is that we actually open up opportunities for our own local uh, companies to join in the fray, to develop their own capabilities, deepen the knowledge, and then we can rely on ourselves uh, and less so on the foreign manufacturers. Only through such a, a set of standards, uh, we can use it for multiple purposes. One, we, uh, we create a, some form of transparency. We allow actually uh, SME to understand and to participate and provide a better ecosystem in the real services. We can also use this as a form of training materials to all our new colleagues that come on board to learn and to use it to provide better maintenance and operations to the real services.